Jenny, another year. But uh, you know, let's just just talk about obviously you know your your season from beginning to end. You know what uh, you know what you thought of this season here with that team. Um, well, personally, it was a roller coaster ride. Um, you know, with it with injuries when you do, you know you dealt a, a bizarre injury. Um, you know, a broken scapula. And, and trying to recover from that and coming back and then you know getting in a fight and kind of re-injuring it so it just was it was it was a tough it was a tough start it was um, uh, but but you know stuck with it kind of had to regroup regroup start from scratch get hurt start from scratch again um, which is never a fun thing to do by any means uh, but it finally got my groove on it at the year and, and ended on a good note you know worked hard did what I had to do got a couple of suspensions and uh, called it a day <laughs> talk, talk about the end of the season I mean this team could have could have packed it up and, and absolutely and sent it in but but they really didn't and you no. know leadership from yourself to, to rod to, you know, to Tito to basically everyone you know just uh, you know the willingness to fight right till the end. yeah we we weren't gonna let that happen uh, we were too much pride way too much pride in here to, to pack it in um, you, it, that just was not an option no matter what anybody was thinking, that wasn't an option, and uh, and 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 we didn't, you know, we had a couple of bad games there, but it wasn't from lack of effort. It wasn't from lack of care. It wasn't, from, you know, uh, so it, it just shows it's a good sign. It's a good sign from a from a team that um, you know could have packed in easily, and most teams would have. Um, but it's a good sign of the leadership and the young kids sticking with the older guys and listening to them, and uh, the middle guys, you know, the uh, you know the third, fourth year guys are on the same program, because um, once you get a couple guys that, that go off on their own uh, sometimes it's a snowball effect uh, and uh, we just didn't let that happen because uh, everybody says we're so tight in that team you know you're always in the locker room creeping around um, so um, great group of guys I mean it really is and so it was good it was a good ending I mean despite us not making the playoffs it was a good ending considering um, you know the, the variables that were in place is that something that you can you know I, it's not quite as as bad a taste in the mouth as as it could have been with the you know with the final result. Is that something that you'll you know, keep there to keep driving towards yeah. the season? Well, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, look at we're all so happy after that game. You know, after the last game, like I didn't know what needed to happen for us to make it. All I put in my brain was win this game, and that's all you got to worry about. So, and I think a lot of guys had the same feeling. And so when we did win, we're all so excited. So it was a good feeling for. Having to wait for another team to figure out our, you know, our our place, uh, it, it was a cool feeling for a couple hours, thinking that you were in. So it, it kind of ended on a good note until we got that mass text. Uh, boys, we're done. Uh, so that was definitely a buzzkill, depressing. But until then, at least we, you know, we felt good. You know, we were saluting the fans, good packed house, good game. Um, so yeah, you know, I think everybody's pretty positive. What's the offseason old for uh, for you this year, Cam? I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna play with my kitty cats. I miss my cats a lot. Um, my mom and dad live next door, so I'm, uh, I miss them a lot. Um, but I'm getting on my boat, and I'm chilling for a bit. And I'm going to listen to music and cruise around in my car and do nothing. Be a hillbilly. Be a hillbilly. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a hillbilly again. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, man.